I've been teaching 3D printing to beginners for almost 10 years now. I've used a couple of programs during that time. Uh, started with 123 d Design, moved on to Tinkercad, and I just found a new program that I think is going to replace Tinkercad moving forward. That program is CADIT. It's a web-based sketch modeling program, sketch to 3D modeling program, where you have a 2D sketch that you can actually draw your shapes, uh, very similar to the way that you would design uh, in solid parametric modelers like Fusion 360, SolidWorks, Onshape, and FreeCAD. The biggest advantage of this new program is everything that we learn in CADIT will transfer over to the more advanced programs. Uh, that's been the biggest complaint over the years when people are past what Tinkercad can do and they're ready to move into a uh, real CAD program. Uh, they have to relearn a lot because they're moving from 3D primitives to sketch-based modeling. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. I'm going to share this with you and see what you think. I think it's going to replace uh, Tinkercad and wor my workflow, but you may think something differently. So let's hop on in. So when we first go into CADIT, we're presented with this uh, screen. So we can do a blank project. There's some uh, customizable options here. So CADIT's made by the makers of CookieCAD. So uh, anyone who's familiar with that amazing program will you know, have a little bit of familiarity with this. But we're going to go ahead and hop into blank project. So um, it's a really cool interface. When you start by default, on the left-hand side, we have our sketch sketch view so we can actually sketch right into here and then on this other side we have our 3d view so the cool thing is you can very easily make things multiple sizes very simple um, extrude combine uh, tools uh, you can do intersections so that you can remove shapes so it's it's incredibly powerful really simple really easy to use uh, one nice thing about it is it's also great for kids or touchscreen devices so uh, showing this pencil tool, and pencil tool, you can actually draw partial uh, polylines. When you let go, it will enclose the shape. But there's another feature that's actually pretty cool. It is a uh, pen tool. So the cool thing with the pen tool is that that's actually creating, it's extruding solid shapes so you can draw with it. So you actually, actually could draw um, 3D printable forms. I can change the shape here, change the size rather of my brush. Let's say I want to make this solid. There's a tool for that too. Hit the paint bucket. Makes that solid. I can select just that portion. There we go. Instant masterpiece. So at the moment, uh, CADIT requires manual saving. So you want to make sure that you save that. Uh, so we can just come up here. We can go ahead and hit save CADIT project. You can either save it in your browser or save it to your um, or, or download the file and save it to your, your desktop. Uh, nice thing is you can always open the, the projects up. So here's some of the projects that I've made. So they're very, very simple, uh, really quick to jump through. I think this is going to be an amazing program for beginners. I'm going to actually start uh, porting over some of my beginner projects and, and instruction to using CAD. It hopefully it will continue to grow. Um, I, the best thing with this program versus Tinkercad is everything you learn in this program is going to be make the transition to a more advanced CAD like Fusion 360, SolidWorks, Onshape, uh, FreeCAD, any of the solid parametric modeling programs much easier because everything is sketch based. So pretty excited about it. I've actually already made a couple of models with it. So here is a, a little vase. So it's actually got a twist base. So I use the sculpt tool created a form and I was able to generate this really cool uh, kind of twisted uh, pattern on the facets. Um, I also made another little vase using the sculpt. So this started as a cylinder and then I just uh, took this side profile and I pulled uh, various little little spots. So you can actually see it's kind of faceted. It's you know fairly low uh, segment counts on the circular pieces, but that's perfectly fine um, for beginners. You might You might experience a little more uh, trouble with that later on. Of course, here's my little nameplate that I made showing off the fun, simple, quick drawing. So uh, another thing is this, it's not just for, you know, simple, quick things. You can also do more, slightly more advanced. Um, so I don't know if that's helping it any. Maybe <laughs> this is, uh, this is my little beginner project that I, that I use. So uh, in another video, I actually show the comparison of 
uh, time uh, making this model uh, in Tinkercad, which is this guy right here versus using Cadet. So a um, little comparison there, you know, roughly roughly the same amount of time. Took a little bit longer in Cadet, but, you know, once again, Cadet's brand new. Tinkercad's been around for quite a while. I've been teaching with Tinkercad for a uh, number of years, so it's a little bit easier and quicker for me where, you know, I'm just, just brand new to Cadet, so I'm excited to see where things go in the future. Uh, so if you have any questions, please hit me up. Hopefully it sounds a little better on this video than the last one. Uh, I've got my actual microphone out, so we'll see um, if this works out any better. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, and uh, thanks for uh, checking us out.